In this video, we will see how to draw a hyperbola by the eccentricity method. We know hyperbola is a curve, having an axis passing through it. It has a fixed point on the axis, called the focus. There is a perpendicular line to the axis, which is called the directrix. Also, it has a point on the curve, at the axis, which we will name as, V. And we will name this intersection point as C. These are the important points for drawing the curve. Here are the instructions for drawing hyperbola. Draw a hyperbola, having the distance of focus from the directrix 50 mm and eccentricity 3 by 2. Also, draw a normal and tangent to the hyperbola at 25 mm from its directrix. Here, we can see this distance of focus from the directrix is given as 50 mm, and the eccentricity which we denote by E is given as 3 by 2. Here, we have to remember, if the value of this eccentricity is more than 1, then we get a hyperbola. If the value is less than 1, we get an ellipse. And if the value is equal to 1, we get a parabola. In this case, it is more than 1, so it is a hyperbola. Eccentricity is the ratio of this length VF by VC. The eccentricity is given as 3 by 2. If we divide this distance into 5 equal parts, then the length of VF will be 3 parts, and VC will be 2 parts. That means, this V point is 30 mm from the focus point, or it is 20 mm from the directrix. Since we understood this, let's start drawing. First, we have to draw a directrix, which is just a vertical line, which can be of any length, and mark a point on this directrix, and we will name it, C. After this, we have to draw a perpendicular line to this directrix, which will be our axis for the hyperbola. To draw this axis, we will take a protector, and mark 90 degrees, and by taking this point as a reference we will draw a line from point C. Next, mark a point on the axis at 50 mm away from the directrix, and name this point as F, and it will be the focus of a parabola. After this, we need to mark point V on the axis. This point will be 20 mm away from C and 30 mm away from F. So take the ruler, and mark a point 20 mm away from point C. Next, we need to draw a vertical line from this point V. To draw a vertical line, we will use a roller scale, and take this line as a reference, move the roller scale to point V, and draw a vertical line of some length. After this, take a compass, and take this VF distance, and by using this distance, cut an arc on this vertical line, passing through V. And mark this intersection point as E. Next, draw a line passing from points C and E, and extend this line. After this, mark some points on axis, the distance between these points can be anything. They can be at equal or unequal lengths. For marking these points, we will take a compass and take some length, and cut an arc at an equal distance. Do the naming for these points. 1, 2, 3, and 4. After getting these points, we will draw a vertical line at each point, such that they touch this inclined line. These lines are drawn using a drafter or a roller scale. Take this line as a reference, and draw the vertical lines at all the points. Mark these intersection points as, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, and 4 dash. After this, take a compass, take this length between 1 to 1 dash, and using F as the center, cut an arc on both the sides of this vertical line, 1 to 1 dash. Mark this point as P1 dash, and this point as P1. Next, take this length from 2 to 2 dash on a compass, and using F as the center, Cut an arc on a vertical line 2 to 2 dash.
Mark this point as P2 dash and this point as P2. Similarly, do for all the lengths, take the length between 3 to 3 dash on a compass, using F as the center, and cut an arc on a line 3 to 3 dash. Mark this point as P3 dash and this point as P3. At last, take the length between 4 to 4 dash on a compass, using F as the center, cut an arc on a line 4 to 4 dash. Mark this point as P4 dash and this point as P4. After getting these P points, to get a hyperbola, draw a line passing through these points. To draw the curve, we will make use of French curves. Make sure all the points are touching this French curve while drawing the curve. This is the final hyperbola by using the eccentricity method. Next, we need to mark a tangent and a normal at a point 25 millimeters from the directrix. To do so, we need to mark a point on a curve, which is 25 millimeters away from the directrix. By using a roller scale, taking this horizontal line as a reference, we can see that this distance is 25 millimeters. Make sure that the zero of the roller scale is at the directrix. Now move the roller scale up and see where the 25 millimeters is coming on the curve. We can see the 25 millimeters is coming at this point, mark this point as P. The distance of this point on a curve is 25 millimeters from the directrix. So, we have to draw a tangent and normal at this point P. To draw a tangent, join this P point with F point with a line. Next, draw a perpendicular line to this PF line at F. To draw a perpendicular line, take a protector. Keep at this point. Make sure point F is coinciding at the protector's center, and mark 90 degrees. After this, by taking this point as a reference, draw a line from point F to directrix, and mark this point as T. Now, draw a line passing from points T and P. This line will be our tangent to the curve. Next, draw a perpendicular line to this tangent, which will be normal to the curve. To do so, take the protector, keep it on the tangent, and mark 90 degrees on the protector. After this, draw a line which is passing from P in this point. This is our normal. I hope you have understood how to draw a hyperbola using the eccentricity method. If this video helped you in understanding, then please click on the like button, and if you are new to my channel, ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button so that you get all my latest videos.